We'll guide you through how to use Modrith mod packs in Minecraft Java. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Mod packs can be really fun as they put loads of mods together and they can be a good combination with each other. So to get started, we need to come and close out of Minecraft. It's important to note you do need to have Minecraft owned on your computer, as I already have, I just had it open. Next, you need to go and open up a web browser of your choice. We'll go and use Google Chrome. What you need to do is you need to go and search for Modrinth, like so. And then here we are, we can come to modrinth.com. At the top, you can go and hover over discover content and check out the mod packs. But what we need to do is go and get the Modrinth app. So press get Modrinth app at the top and you can then press download the Modrinth app. It's going to go and download as you can see there. Then what we can do is we can come out of our web browser and start installing it. But just before we do that, a big shout out to the sponsors of this video, Apex Hosting. At the moment, you can go and get 25% off your first Minecraft server. So if you're interested, make sure you go and check them out. Link down below in the pinned comment and the description. They've got so many great features like one click install mod packs, instant setup so upon purchase you can start playing really quickly, a free subdomain, automated backups, a powerful panel, one of my favorite things being 24-7 servers and support I mean you can get the help anytime you need it. So let's go and continue with the guide but a big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Go and open up the file explorer and come to downloads. You want to go and find the installer. Go and double click on it like so and it will open and here we are. You want to go to the bottom right and you can press next. Come to the bottom of your computer and you can open up your file explorer and come and find your downloads. As you can see, we've got the Modrinth app here. What you want to do is go and double click on it. You'll go and get a security pop-up. Now what we can do is go through the installer, come to the bottom of your computer and find file explorer, hover over it and open up your downloads just like so. Go and find Modrinth and we can go and double click on it and then we can go and open up the installer. Press next and you can go and choose the folder. I leave that, I'll press next. And now it's gonna go and run and install, it now has. We can keep these selected and press finish. Modrinth is now going to go and open up as you can see, be patient. Here we are, it's now gone and opened up. What you need to do is head to the top right and you'll need to go and sign in. You can see I already am, I'm guide around videos. Sign into your Microsoft and Minecraft account. Now you want to come over to the left. You've got your library. I already have Cobblemon in here as I've gone and used this before, but it's likely you won't have anything. You want to press discover content to the left. And then what you can do is go and find a mod pack you want. So for example, let's go and say you wanted the Pix1 mod pack. We could find it here. You can click on it and start reading about it. But to go and get it, you can go to the top right and press install. Now it's going to go and download what it needs. As you can see, it's running through. And of course you can start downloading others as well, but just go and wait. Um, when it goes finished downloading, it's also going to install it as well. So go and be patient. So you can launch it from here. Alternatively, go over to the left and you can click library and you can see it's now listed here. So you can then go and hover over the play button and it's going to go and load. What's going to happen is the Minecraft launcher is going to go and open. You can see here it's now loading. It may take a bit of time as there are a lot of mods here. As you can see, here we are, we're now playing. So what we can do is go and press single player and we can go and start playing the game. You go and get it. 